You ever notice how every week there is a new JavaScript framework that's going to change everything? One minute you're vibe coding with React, then suddenly you're being told you're a dinosaur for not switching to solid start, quick, or Astro's cousin twice removed. Future's now, old man. And let's not even talk about SvelteKit. I am kidding. Please don't threaten me, Svelte users. There's a whole new meta every month. Twitter's out here acting like you're committing a crime if you're still using Create React app like it's 2021. The hype train around frameworks is so fast, it's got no brakes. One second, everyone's hyping Remix, the next minute, it's out of the trend, and you're left wondering if you missed a memo or slept through a framework revolution. You feel like you've barely scratched the surface of your current stack, but the internet's already moved on, shouting, have you tried Nerd.js yet? So you start feeling the pressure. That little voice in your head goes, I should learn this new thing so I don't fall behind. So you go for it. You install the CLI. You read the docs. You build a little vibe check app. And what's got bro down? Check your vibes. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, I opened VS Code, created a new Angular project, and wrote the code for that app just to show it on screen for seven seconds. And for the first 10 minutes, it's magical. You're writing less code. The build time is fast. You're convinced you just became this framework's the 10x dev, but then the cracks start to show. You hit a weird bug, you Google it. No Stack Overflow answers. ChatGPT and DeepSeek are more confused than you. All you find is a two-day-old GitHub issue with zero replies and one lonely thumbs up. You check the Discord, no one's active. You post your problem. The only reply is someone typing same with a crying emoji. Suddenly, your beautiful new framework feels like you're coding in the woods with no cell reception. The documentation? Yeah, it's minimalist which is a nice way of saying it only tells you what might work if the stars align. You realize you don't even know how to deploy this thing. Versal has never heard of it. Netlify says, good luck. Your CICD pipeline throws its hands up and quits. Meanwhile, your original framework, the one you left behind like a forgotten X, is still out there, doing its job, working just fine, with a rich ecosystem, battle-tested plugins, and answers for everything. I'm doing my part! But you're stuck trying to make hydration work in some beta feature of a tool still in early access. Look, bro, the truth is, most of the time, sticking to what you know and getting really good at it will take you further than constantly chasing the next hot thing. Unless your current setup is actively holding you back or can't handle your use case anymore, you're probably better off doubling down. Mastery beats novelty. Because when you split your focus across five different frameworks, you don't get five times the power. You get five times the confusion, five different build errors, and five daily crash outs. So go ahead, learn new stuff. If you're curious, that's great. But don't let the hype train derail your progress. Stick with what works, get insanely good at it, and you'll be the dev that junior engineers look up to. Not because you're trendy, but because you're solid. And hey, if this video saved you from installing yet another JavaScript framework just to build another crappy to-do app, Maybe buy this tired code head a coffee. Links in the description. Otherwise, you'll find me throwing hands with perplexity because it refused to help me debug my Yay.js app that won't deploy.